I'm Willie Mayette from FunkPianoLessons.com and I want to welcome you to this new lesson on scales, fills, and runs. What I'm going to be talking about in this lesson is uh, all different kinds of scales that you can use uh, to create your fills and runs and your improvisation. I'm going to also show you uh, several different uh, fills that I like to use, right? how to come up with your own fills, and kind of like my secrets on how you can create literally uh, as many fills as uh, your imagination can handle. Okay? So there's a lot of uh, unique ways in which you could put stuff together using my uh, rhythmic concepts um, and scales, and you can come up with a bunch of different fills, kind of like some of the stuff that I was just playing there. In addition, I'm also going to show you, uh, you know, my, my quartal, quartal run, my flat nine, run and a couple of different runs that I use and once again how you can combine them together, come up with more, come up with your own ones, how you can shift the beat uh, so that you're not just starting on the same beat uh, and that alone gives you a bunch of different um, fills right there and also gives you over the bar line phrasing. So there's a lot of cool stuff we're going to cover uh, in this lesson so uh, let's get started. <music> So let's talk now about minor pentatonics over a dominant seventh chord. Um, now I'm not going to actually go through all of the notes uh, for the minor pentatonic scale because let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, and I'm putting this in here more for, uh, for you to understand the differences and similarities between minor pentatonics and major pentatonics. So here I have a minor pentatonic built on the root. So this would be one minor. Right? But you'll see a slash and it also says flat 3 major. So if you go to the major pentatonic and so you take a look, you see that, well wait a second, B flat minor pentatonic is exactly the same notes as D flat major pentatonic. The only difference is it's starting on B flat instead of starting on D flat. Okay? So a minor pentatonic scale to create a minor pentatonic scale, just go up to the minor third and create a major pentatonic scale on that note. So for instance, if I want to make C minor pentatonic scale, I go up to the minor third and I create a major pentatonic scale on that minor third. If I wanted to make a D minor pentatonic scale, so let's say I'm grooving in D, right, and I want to improvise over the minor pentatonic sound, we'll go up to the flat third, okay, which would be F, and then make a major pentatonic scale there. And remember that the major pentatonic scale, you would start by getting the major scale for that, uh, for the um, flat third note there. So once again, we're doing D minor pentatonic. So go up to the minor third, which is F, create that major scale there, and then you play one, two, three, five, six from the major scale. Let's do one more. F minor pentatonic is the same thing as A flat major pentatonic. And there's your A flat major pentatonic. Okay? What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to play all of the pentatonic scales, all the major pentatonic scales. And then using what I just told you, you can... All right, so now let's talk about these three different runs uh, that I've come up with. Um, a run is typically... Uh, a little bit different than a fill, and then a fill is usually, you know, like a small little section, um, you know, that you fill with, you know, a lick or whatnot. Whereas a run is usually like a pattern that would go up or down the keyboard, you know, like a basic run was like, you know, something like that. It's just, you know, a major triad going right up the keyboard like that. So I'm starting with the root, root third, fifth, and then the root again. Or if I did it in C. 
if I did like a kind of a, a you know, something like that, that's a sharp nine chord, right? Okay, so I can do something like that for a run. I've come up with three separate ones though that I think are pretty cool and I like them. Uh, so on that E flat seven chord, what you can do is, So what's happening here is basically your E flat dominant seventh chord, but instead of playing the third,